Hello AP Calculus students. Uh, here is the first of a couple of videos that I am posting just of me solving implicit differentiation problems that will hopefully help you out with the homework. Okay, so here's the problem we're going to solve. xy cubed minus y equals x. Okay, and we want to take the uh, derivative of this implicitly, um, not by solving for x first and then taking the derivative using ways that we know how. Okay, so here's the tricky part about this. Um, all of the rules that we learned before, um, chain, product, quotient, all that stuff is still going to apply here. Um, but now we have x's and y's, so it's a little bit confusing. Okay, so our first step is what we want to do is we want to differentiate this um, just as it is. Okay, we don't want to mess around with it. Just differentiate it, and then we'll, we'll deal with it once, we, once we've done that. Okay, so first, um, this guy right here is a, a chain, right? So we're going to turn this into 3 xy squared times the derivative of the inside. But if you notice, the derivative of the inside in here is a product. So we're going to have to use product rule here. Okay? So first times the derivative of the second. Oops. And we got to remember that since it's y and y is a function of x, we have to multiply um, using the chain rule. Uh, we have to multiply by dy dx. Okay, and then plus the second times derivative of the first. Um, and then we can multiply by dx dx and say how is that variable inside changing with respect to x. Now again, that's going to go away in a second, um, but it might be nice to write, remind, uh, to write that to remind you of uh, what variable you are, you know, taking the derivative with respect to. Okay. Um, then we have to subtract 1, but then dy dx, how is that variable changing with respect to x? And that's going to equal 1, and then how is that variable changing with respect to x? Okay, so now we can go and get rid of these dx dx's, okay? And our goal is we want to solve for this thing here, dy dx. Okay, so how are we going to do that? Um, sometimes these are a little bit tricky, but the basic general idea is that you want to get everything that doesn't have dy dx onto the other side um, and then factor out your dy dx and then divide everything you factored out. So, so let's, let's go through that step by step. So first we want to take everything that doesn't have a dy dx and let's put it on the, the right side of the equation. So I'm just going to multiply this through um, just so that we can uh, get at this dy dx that's alone right here. So we're going to get 3x squared y squared times x dy dx plus 3x squared y squared y minus dy dx equals 1. Okay, so now um, we can subtract this term. Okay, so we get 1 minus 3x squared y, and I'm going to combine it right here, y cubed. Okay, and then on this side, uh, we can factor out these dy dx's. Okay, so I'll get dy dx times uh, 3x cubed y squared. I'm going to combine those two x's. Plus, oh, sorry, minus 1. Okay, now we're almost done. We get dy dx equals 1 minus 3x squared y cubed all over 3x cubed y squared minus 1. That's our answer. And the nice thing about implicit differentiation is we can leave it like that. Um, since we've defined our function implicitly, uh, it's really not a big deal if we have both x's and y's in the derivative, um, so we'll just leave our derivative like that. Okay, so let's try one more that's a little bit harder, and hopefully this one will help us remember why we do these in the first in the first place. Okay, so here's the function we're going to be working with here. It's 3 times x squared plus y squared, all squared, and it's going to equal 100 times x squared minus y squared. And here's the problem. What we want to do is we want to find the equation of the tangent line. at this point right here. Okay, and that point's going to be 4, 2. 
Okay, so um, the same exact process that we used when we defined our functions explicitly is going to apply when we define our functions implicitly. Okay, so first we need to find the point, which actually is already there for us, and then we need to find the slope. And of course, to find the slope, we need to find its derivative. Okay, so um, let's just let's just go for this one. We're going to need a couple different rules in this one, and the tricky part here is actually going to be in sort of uh, simplifying and isolating the dy dx. Okay, so first let's just go for it and take the derivative, and then and then start dealing with what we see. Okay, so we're going to need a chain rule, a power and a chain, and a couple other things. So we do we'll bring this two down, so it becomes six x squared minus y squared all to the one, but we won't write that because we don't really need to, times derivative of the inside, which is 2x, and then how is that variable changing with respect to x, plus 2y, how is that variable changing with respect to x, okay, and then that's going to equal 100, we can leave constants out front alone, times 2x, how is that variable changing with respect to x, minus 2y, how is that variable changing with respect to x? Okay, so that leaves us with a bit of a complicated situation. Uh, we can cross out our, our oops, I need to do that. We can cross out our dx dx's, but now we have our dy dx's that are sort of uh, stuck inside that ex those expressions. We need to get get at them. Okay, so what we're going to do is the same thing sort of that we did above. We're going to multiply this term through. Um, and this term through so that we can get at our dy dx's. So here's what I mean by that. So we're going to get 6x squared minus y squared times 2x plus 6x squared minus y squared times 2y dy dx. Okay, and that's going to equal 200x minus 200y dy dx. Okay, now let's do the exact same thing we did before. Let's try to get our dy dx's all on the left side and everything without a dy dx on the right side. Okay, so we're going to get 6x squared, uh, sorry, that's plus. How come you didn't tell me I did that? Okay, 6x squared plus y squared uh, times 2y dy dx plus 200y dy dx is going to equal 200x minus 6x squared plus y squared all times 2x. Okay, so um, it's a little better um, and we can sort of see what, what's going to happen now. Okay, so notice we have our dy dx's, so let's factor that out so we can isolate it. So dy dx times uh, and let's start combining stuff. So 12y x squared plus y squared plus 200y, okay, minus, uh, sorry, equals 200x minus 12x x squared plus y squared. Okay, um, so now we're almost done, right? Now we do dy dx equals 200x minus 12x x squared plus y squared all over 200y minus or uh, plus 12y x squared plus y squared. Okay now to be honest we can just leave it like that. We don't need to simplify this at all. Um, it's already um, pretty much in a very a simplified form. There's some things we can factor out and some things we can divide out. Um, but we could just use it like that. But just to get practice in simplifying these expressions, um, let's divide that out. Notice that everything has a factor of 4 in it, so we can do that first. So we end up with 50x minus 3x x squared plus y squared all over 50y minus 3y x squared plus y squared. Okay, next step, uh, notice the top has a uh, a factor of x that we can uh, factor out, and the bottom has a factor of y we can factor out. And this might just make things a little bit easier when we're plugging in. So we get x times 50 minus 3, and I'm just going to distribute this minus 3, so minus 3x squared minus 3y squared all over y times 50 
minus 3x squared minus 3y squared. Oh, and I turned that into a plus. I was looking at that wondering what's going wrong. Um, okay, so and actually this answer, this last answer that I have, is the exact one that a computer would give you when they um, take, take this derivative. Okay, so let's remember why we were taking this derivative. We were looking at this graph right here, okay, and we were wondering what the equation of the tangent line was at 4, 2. Okay, so to find the equation of the tangent line, we need the point, which we already have, and the slope, which we're going to get from the derivative. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to plug in 4, 2 to the derivative. Now, here, these functions are a little bit uh, different um, because they involve both x and y. Okay, by the way, this, this little line here means evaluate at um, the point 4, 2. Okay, so whenever we, we're going to see that a lot, uh, especially in the second half of the course, but whenever we put a line like that and then a value down here, it means evaluate this expression at that value. So dy dx at 4, 2 is going to be 4 times 50 minus uh, 3 times 4 squared, which is 3 times 16, so 48, minus 3 times 2 squared, which is 12. all over 2 times 50 plus this time 48 and then uh, plus 12. Okay, and then if you just add this up really quick, 50 minus 48 is negative 2 and then minus 12, or sorry, it's positive 2 and then minus 12 is negative 10. So we get uh, 4 times negative 10 all over 2 times 50 plus 48 is 98 plus 12 is 110. So we get negative uh, 40 over negative 220. Okay, and then uh, this equals negative 2 over 11. Oh, sorry, this is positive. Okay, so that's our slope. And let's actually go back up and make sure that makes sense. So if we drew a, a tangent line here, um, would the slope be something like what we just got, which is negative 2 over 11? Um, yeah, that actually looks about right. It's a very um, not very steep slope, so it makes sense that it's a very small fraction. Um, and it's also negative, so, so that, that works. Okay, so let's put it all together. Okay, so our point, um, which we started out with, is 4, 2. Okay, and then the slope is negative 2 over 11. So using point slope form, we can put it all together pretty quickly. So y minus 2 equals negative 2 over 11 times x minus 4. And then we're done.